So in this question, we have solid M. There is a solid M. Any solid is there. They just name as M. Tests are carried out and the following observation made. Appearance of a solid, it is a white solid. What this gives an indication, whenever you have a compound which is white solid, it means either it contain, either it is a group one compound, group two, group three, or ammonium. It cannot be transition element. So when I, or in short, I can say there, there is no transition element present or non-transition element. The solid was heated and the gas was given off. The sublimate formed on the side of the test tube and the gas turned uh, paper blue. So litmus paper turned blue. Whenever you heat, the only gas, the alkaline gas is ammonia. The alkaline gas is ammonia gas. So it means when we are heating this, ammonia gas is given off. Solid M was dissolved and which substance giving out ammonia gas? So the substance which contain ammonia ions means NH4 ion is there. When we heat that salt, it, they tend to release ammonia gas. So ammonium salts give off ammonia gas. So solid M was dissolved in water an aqueous sodium hydroxide was added. The mixture is heated and the gas was tested. What is this whole test for? So you will check. This is a test for ammonia mine. As you can see here, the bottom of this slide, the last part, what is the test for ammonia mine? What we do, we add sodium hydroxide or alkali and we heat. And as a result, the pungent gas, the irritating smell a sharp smell gas is given off, which will give, which will turn red litmus blue. So same thing is happening. As you can see here, that sodium hydroxide, when we add sodium hydroxide and heat, the gas was tested. So this is actually a test for what? This is a test for ammonium ion, test for NH4 ion. And if it is there, it will give a pungent gas and it will turn the PA, the universal indicator or the blue litmus it turned red litmus it turned blue and universal indicator will show a color change with a pH 10. So this confirmed that this salt, this solid M is ammonium. That is one thing we confirm. Then we add dilute nitric acid followed by silver nitrate. What is this test? This is a test to check the presence of chloride ion bromide ion or iodide ion. Any of these three ions can be tested by using this method. So if we get white PPT, it means chloride is there. If we get cream color precipitate, it means bromide is there. And if it get yellow PPT, it means iodide is there. So as a result, we are getting a yellow PPT. So this confirmed that it contain iodide. So what is the solid M? So solid M contain ammonium and solid M contain iodide. So basically it is what it is ammonium iodide. So this salt is actually ammonium iodide salt, which gives, so you have to learn both things. You have to learn the result, the observation, and you have to, from observation, you should be able to identify the ions present. So both ways, you have to learn this table. If you know the ion, you should be able to write the test and observation. And if you know the test and observation, you should be able to identify the ion. So ions can be identified. The halide ions such as chloride, bromide, and iodide can be identified by adding nitric acid followed by silver nitrate. White PPT, cream PPT, and yellow PPT, depending on which type of halide ion is present in the mixture. So this was about the identification of the salt.